Hi, this is a continuation of the videos covering streamable MCP transport. In this video, we are going to do uh, one small addition where we will add authentication. So using bearer token. So here we have the MCP server and we have the client. And during the communication, we will add the security using a token. So that is the video about, okay. Let me uncomment my auth demo here. This has got the authorization. And I am passing the auth token here, but we can pass it via the environment variable as well. Super secret one, two, three auth token. Okay. Let's restart the MCP server with the auth token. So now here, this one has the auth token enabled. So if, if you make a call like before, let me set the base URL in this variable. Let's remove this auth token to confirm that we are getting unauthorized error. We are calling the notify, that is the name of the tool. So this is the command line call of the streamable connection. We are not passing the bearer token. See here, unauthorized. So let's pass the header authorization bearer token. Okay, so that is the authorization that we are going to pass. Okay, so let's pass the authorization secret. See, now the notifications come. Clear? And same way we can also call the tool, add tool. So let's call the add tool. So add add tool and number A, number B. These are the two parameters that add tool expects like last time and we call the add tool with the bearer token. See a result of 1 plus 5 is 8. Remember there is an extra 2 added in our add tool. Now we'll see if we are able to talk to this from our MCP inspector. As of this version that is version 0 0.1 1.0 streamable mcp this inspector cannot accept authentication uh, inspector will not pass authentication only for sse authentication token works i have tried that so we cannot test an authenticated mcp server using streamable transport yet next couple of days the update will come okay so this is as of now. So what we can do is we can update our MCP client. So in this MCP client on the header, we can pass the authorization bearer token like this. So this headers, I'm adding authorization bearer and token token. We are getting this and the token we are passing the super secret one, two, three. So we are creating the headers JSON ob object here. And where do we pass it? We pass it when we create the streamable HTTP client. See this earlier, we only had the base URL as the parameter, but now we are passing the headers also. And th this has our auth. Then rest of the authentication it handles. There is no other change in the code. This is there in our Docker Compose, app-c2-auth is what we should call. Okay, so let's run this. So this is an authenticated client. Okay, so notification worked and add tool call also worked. Uh, to confirm that it is using our bearer token, let's change this to 1234 and run it again see we have the error see streamable http error in post 401 unauthorized 
Okay, so then we can handle the error accordingly in our client. So that is it for this demo. In, in this demo, we saw how we can have an MCP, streamable MCP server with a bearer token based authentication. And we saw how from command line we can call and from our MCP based Python and streamable MCP based Python client also, we can pass the bearer token. And, and I've also said the, the current version of MCP inspector tool has not been updated with the streamable MCP authentication. So that is it for this video. Thank you for your time. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and give your valuable comments. Bye-bye.